Welcome to the demonstration for adding a fish into my fishing journal widget. First thing to do is click on add fish in the widget. And if you notice there's already a fish uh, type populated. If you click in that box whatever is in there will go away. It will automatically populate with the last type of fish that you caught. We'll put in a bluegill this time and you notice there was a drop down. And there's specify the type of event. And we'll select a size here. Notice that there are two methods for selecting a size, either an exact measurement or a quick drop down. So we'll type in an exact measurement here. You want to use either one or the other, either the, the quick measurement or the exact measurement. The exact measurement w is the one that will show up if you put in both measurements. So we'll demonstrate taking a picture. Click on the camera icon there, and then you just click the little shutter icon, and that will take a picture. And you can click on the flash off button there and it'll turn on the flashlight which is helpful if you're fishing at night. You can also add a picture by clicking on the little folder and you can choose one from your device. Since we're using the emulator we have to click off the save GPS location to make the save fish button appear and on the the technique type there's some pre-populated choices there if we choose custom it allows you to enter a custom technique which you can uh, simply type in the technique there then when you add fish in the future the technique that you add here will be in that custom drop down list And we have some information on uh, the water, and we can specify the depth, and also the clarity. And we can enter a specific note that we'd like to log about the catch. And notice you can also change the date and the time of the catch, which is very helpful if you're putting in a fish after the fact. Now note there's a weather tab. And since we don't have GPS on this, uh, no weather is automatically pulled in. However, we can go to the Location tab. The location tab is helpful for setting the location manually, or if you want to fine-tune the location. And after the location is set manually, the app will uh, pull in the weather information based on the location. This is a good place where you can also uh, utilize the places that were set up previously. And so we'll select Potoka Lake. It'll bring up this place. Now it's simply a matter of dra dragging the marker to the place where you caught the fish. If you notice there's a little black X below the marker which specifies the exact location. So we'll drag that and drop it right there. We can also search for location by clicking on the little uh, magnifying glass icon there and you can search by lake river name or you can even search by a nearby address which will 
get you close to the place where you're fishing and that'll allow you to uh, simply drag the marker uh, to the location where you caught the fish. So we'll type in the name of a lake here and see if Google Maps can find it. As you can see, it did a good job of finding the location. And we can just click the plus button there to zoom in a little closer. And we'll click again to get an even closer view. And again, we will drag the marker to the desired location. And notice now that the weather tab has populated since we've set a GPS location. And now we have all the information in and we can click on Save Fish. Now if you want to add another fish, simply click on Add Fish. And you'll notice that the fish type is populated uh, with the same fish that we entered the last time. Usually you'll catch uh, the same, several of the same type of fish. And again, we'll just exit back out of that. If you want to edit the fish, you can go to the live well and simply click on any of the fish there. A little menu pops up above it and you can click on edit. You can now modify any of the details and you can go in and change a, a location. You can change the weather details. Whatever you would like to change. This is handy if you want to go in and fine-tune some things after you're done fishing and you have a little more time to play around with the app. This concludes the demonstration for adding a fish of my fishing journal widget. Thank you for watching and happy fishing.